let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. You are the children of God by faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of true leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 6. Second lesson, Galatians chapter 3 verse 26. Golden text, Galatians chapter 4 verse 6. Quote, this sermon marks the commencement of the August Pentecostal Assembly. You know that children must always be fed before the dogs. Today is the Spirited Children's Fellowship Meeting. It is said, many are called but few are chosen. This is the time during which the sheep will be separated from the goats. This is also the time when you will see many people drifting either to the right or to the left. Those who are the children of God know their father. They know their father, know them and call them by names and they follow him. If you read the scripture, I believe, you will see the glory of God. You cannot know God either through your high education, nor vision, nor true prophecy. You cannot know him through dreams, nor through healing, nor through riches, nor through any person. But you can know him through faith you have in our Lord Jesus Christ. You can only enter the kingdom of God by faith. No matter what you do, if you do not trust in him, you have done nothing. Not all Israelites are the children of Israel. It is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs. A race, but of God who shows mercy. If you were born of the Virgin Mary, but you have no faith, it would be impossible that you can know God. Even if you are begotten of Abraham, but you have no faith, you will not know him. The scriptures say, not all the children of Abraham are his real children, and they are not all Israel, who are Israel, but the children of promise by faith. Since you are the children of God by promise, that is why God has sent the Spirit of His Son into your hearts. And that is why also you cry, calling God, Abba, Father. Do you now believe that you all are the children of God? You are neither a prophet, because a prophet is not a son of God. Nor are you an apostle nor a pastor, because neither an apostle nor a pastor is a man of God, is a son of God. An elder is not a son of God. A deaconess is not a child of God. Nor can a church be a son of God. But each and every one of his a child of God. You are all sons of God. That is why when you call yourself a pastor, I look at you with pity. Is a pastor not a slave? 
when you claim that you are an apostle, what is an apostle? Does a servant speak in parable? Or does a slave know the will of his Lord? Greater love has no man than this, that a man lays down his life for his friends. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are all you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knows not what his Lord does, but I shall call you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. I have to reveal to you that an apostle or a prophet or a pastor is not a son of God but a slave. In those days it was only our Lord Jesus Christ who was the son. That was why the Father sent his spirit to him and he also promised for as many as received him to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. This also explains why he said, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until he be endowed with power from on high. It was because of this also that our Lord Jesus Christ said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, in the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not see him, neither does it know him, but you know him, because he dwells in you and shall be with you. Who can fight against the Holy Spirit? If you go to discuss anything about the Holy Spirit with the people of the world, it is strange and sounds Greek in their eyes. It should be strange to them. For have you ever seen the Holy Spirit? You do not see anyone but he knocks you down though you are a full-fledged man you cannot contrast you cannot contest with him you who swore that until you die you cannot be a brotherhood what is happening now are you not getting much more involved in brotherhood? You who had sworn and hoped that you will never wear the white garment, but now you wear white to any place you would want to go. You who swore that you would never refrain from fornication. Now you do not even look at women with an intent to lust after them. You who used to refer to those who go about preaching the word of God as lazy people. What has caused you now to preach in all nooks and corners? even much more than the person you condemned. The glory of God is now manifested in you. However, brethren, all these are by way of digression. That is not what I want to reveal to you. 
Today I want to reveal to you the glory of God manifested in you. The glory you have in this generation has no comparison such that has never been witnessed by the world at any time. The inhabitants of the world are gazing at the sun, at the moon, and the constellation. They are looking towards India and America, but we are here enjoying the glory of God. All glories promised are now fulfilled in you. The Christ is the first begotten of God. Did our Lord Jesus Christ not tell you? Yet a little while and the world sees me no more. But you see me because I live. You will live also. The inhabitants of the world believe that our Lord Jesus Christ is in the sky. Others argue that he was not yet come. And others still argue that he is in water or in India. But we are, but here, you see him and he sees you. How? Oh, it is because his words are fulfilled in you. It is said, when he will bring back the first begotten into the world, he will command that all angels should bow down and worship him. Consider that statement again. He says that when he brings back the first begotten, you are all aware of the position of the first. Son, in the family, do you make the mistake, do not make the mistake of puffing up when you are called the Son of God. Have you heard what he says? He says when he brings back the first begotten into the world, are you the first begotten? He will order all angels to bow down and worship him. It is not said when the second son will be brought, but that when the first begotten of God is brought back, all angels will bow down and worship him. Who are angels? Trees are angels. So also the wind, thunder, rain, sunlight, death, haze, these are all angels and all of them have already been commanded that they should bow down and worship the first begotten of the Father. If all trees, if all these people and things will worship him, what sort of man is he then? He does not say when he will send his son. You are all sons. But here he makes a distinction. He is now referring to the first begotten of the Father. You are now to walk according to the footsteps of God. The Father, a popular local adage says, it is only through a baby that one can touch the mother's breast. That is to say, it is because of the faith you have in the first begotten of the Father that you are the children of God. It is because you listen to, you assimilate and practice the word of God that you have the right to the sonship of God. Whoever is led by this spirit is the Son of God. Can you tell me why you cry and wail and mourn and lament? You have heard about false prophets, false apostles, and false teachers. You also hear about deceitful pastors and deceitful prophets. But have you ever heard about false children of God or deceitful children of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
the three in one is here. St. John had a vision that he should baptize with water and he said he who sent me to baptize with water the same said the same said upon whom you will see the spirit descending and remaining on him the same is he who baptizes with fire and the holy spirit and i saw and bear record that this is the son of god now you perceive and feel the impact of the spirit of god in you why is this spirit not revealed in other in the world why is this spirit not revealed in others in the world you were in the Roman Catholic Church conducting mass in all its ramification. Were you endowed with the Spirit of God? You have seen a member of the various church denominations and prayer houses. You have initiated in several secret societies. Were you bestowed with the Holy Spirit? Christ is the way the truth and the life it is the promise of god that the, that he will bestow the holy spirit on you the secret societies and church denomination are aimlessly searching for the holy spirit the wise men are also aimlessly looking for the holy spirit but those of you who those of you who with who wish to be justified by the works of the law the Christ is made of none effect unto you you can only be justified through faith he is the way the truth and the life he who rejects the Christ also rejects the father he who does not believe that our Lord Jesus Christ came in the flesh is at its is, is at his wit's end if you believe that our lord jesus christ is a man with one head with flesh and blood and not a spirit pray for yourself if you deny that he was the son of god you are to be pitied he was the son of man the son of god you are also the son of man and being the son of man and son of god he is the godhead he is a man as well as the spirit of god therefore brethren hold on to your faith once you believe in him all your problems are over if you believe that Christ is the Son of Man, why do you hold that an eagle will descend from the sky? If you say he was a man, why do you argue that you cannot worship a man? Our Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He was born of a woman. He is born of a woman. If he was a human being yesterday, he is a human being today and will be a human being forever what made peter the disciple or the other apostles to follow the christ it was because he believed in him an apostle is greater than a prophet that but a child of god is greater than an apostle now you are not apostles but the children of God. He was accused of claiming to be the son of God. He was then alone. He was not killed for raising the dead, making the blind to see, nor the deaf to hear, and the dumb to speak, or because he destroyed the Sabbath, but because he acclaimed himself to be the son of God. Ye are God's, 
The law of the Jews provides that God has no son. The Muslims do not believe in the sonship of God either. They do not even believe in God. The law provides that any day any person claims to be the son of God, he would be killed. But it was written in Psalms 82 verse 6. Ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High God. When our Lord Jesus Christ claimed to be the Son of God, he was killed for blasphemy. That was why he said, except a corn of wheat falls into the ground, it dies and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. But what is happening in the world today, if you were to take the census of the world, you would have the multiplicity of the Christ. You are all children of God. He was alone in the world. He is the first begotten of God and He is heir. You are all His brothers, but He is the heir to the inheritance. You should therefore sing and rejoice and do not lament because the promise of God is fulfilled in you. The prophets and apostles are lighting candles and burning incense because they have fellowship with angels. But you are with God. To whom are you going to remain in subjection? That is why the Son must resemble the Father. You must not look on any other person but unto the Father and the and do only what he, he directs you to do. What we want to deal with during this Pentecostal is that you are a child of God through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the sonship identity that has helped you to overcome the world. You are all here to the inheritance which is neither bought nor voted for nor given by man. As a child of God, you control all trees, stone, the sun, the moon, stars, the wind, the rain and darkness are under subjection to you. You should walk majestically everywhere because you are the sons of God. The Christ is the heir to the throne. Do you really understand what is referred to as the first begotten of the Father? He is the heir and he is always with the Father. All others are subordinates. The Father, Son and the Holy Spirit must always remain one. If we are to know ourselves, then things would have taken a different turn. It is said, man know thyself if you were to know that you are neither a black nor a white nor a tree nor an animal but a child of god your father is god the creator of heaven and earth and the fullness thereof you must therefore resemble him listen to him assimilate his teachings practice them and administer his creation, you have no other place of birth, you have no other city, you come from him, you look forward unto him and should always listen to him and abide by his instruction. That is why all he has belonged to you and what belongs to the Father is yours. It is a part of your responsibility to go about righting all wrongs, rectifying all things improperly done, either in the government or in the church denomination or in all facets of the society, among the birds, the trees, animals, fishes, and get them in their shipshape order. I do not intend to overload you. The first lesson will now be read.
First lesson, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 6. And again, when he bringeth in his first begotten into the world, he said, And let all the angels of God worship him. Brethren, have you heard that? Who do you think is that being whom the Father will command all that all the angels would worship him? Ponder over such a person. Have you heard that when God will bring again his first begotten into the world, he will command all the angels to worship him? The Father has come to judge. You have heard that when the Son of Man shall come into the glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon his throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all the nations and he shall separate them one from the other as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats and he shall set the sheep on his right and but he, but the goats on his left he is on the throne with the Father. He does not come to sing or pray or to preach, but to judge all creation under his feet. He, was, he has told you that all powers in heaven and on earth belongs to him. All angels and human beings are under him. He is the only cock to crow, the monarch of all the surveys. The judgment of all the creation is in his hand, and so, as many as believe in him, he gives them the right to become his children, the children of God. The world is to be pitied because some argue that they know the Christ. Some found church denominations and named them. Another person found his own denomination and established branches everywhere another person found a secret society god is love the christ is love and the holy spirit is also love and the children of god are love love is everywhere and love is in everywhere nothing belongs to any person god has everything and is in everything and he knows everything it is said that all angels are commanded to worship the first begotten of the father who are the angels death and heads are angels if you do not know that all angels are messengers know that from today all angels are not only messengers but also servants fire rain thunder wind snakes birds and fishes lucifer michael gabriel and raphael are all angels when an angel appears in human form he is known as a prophet you are the channel through which God, God manifests himself on earth. Remember when Jonah was sent to Nineveh by God, but he wanted to run away to Tarshish so that he could escape the presence of God. He boarded a ship to Tarshish, but God sent out a great wind into the sea this wind was an angel there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was likely to be broken when the lot fell on jonah and he was thrown overboard god also sent an angel which was a fish to swallow him up and take him down to the coast of nineveh which he hitherto refused to go it is said he causes his angels to be the wind or messengers or flame of fire 
the Christ baptizes with water and Holy Ghost. Do you realize what John the Baptist said? I indeed baptize with water unto repentance, but he who comes after me is mightier, that whose souls I am not worthy to unloose. He it is who baptizes with fire and the Holy Ghost. This is true, but who is the one who baptizes with fire and the Holy Spirit? A spiritual song says, the angel confirmed that the time is up. The children of God say the time is up. But Satan argued that there were still time. It is exactly what happens in the world today. The children of God proclaim that our Lord Jesus Christ is here. But the people of the world still pray that until Jesus comes back in his glory, how many times will he come? They continue to argue that he has not yet returned. What a blasphemous statement. Whereas we are the children of God, are enjoying and rejoicing in his glory. We are dancing in him and he is making the blind, the dead, the lame and the dumb speak all giving glory to him. He bestows his glory on his children. What else are you seeking after? In the past, the people of the world argued erroneously that the spirit ended with the twelve apostles. This explains why they worship other gods and argue that God helps those who help themselves. But the Christ students have just rendered a song which says, there is no clapping of hands, no drumming, no rattling, only song, but wonders are happening. The sick is healed, the dead is raised, the blind see, the lame walk in spite of the fact that no prayer is said and no oil is rubbed. Who is doing this work? Brotherhood is a new name. This is, therefore, your assignment to let the people of the world know about this truth that the owner of the world and the vineyard has arrived and that they should come and see things for themselves. You are now testifying as John and the other apostles that the Christ was the Son of God and that he came and died and resurrected and was glorified. No, there is no other name except Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. This is the new name. We have no other name in heaven or on earth. It is this new name which is inscribed on all things. It is inscribed on fishes inside water, on birds in the air, on animals in the field, on trees in the forest, because our Lord Jesus Christ is brotherhood, and he has fought and gained dominion over everything. And as many as believe in him, they have the right to be the sons of God. You are not a child of God because you are worthy or that you are a righteous or that you work hard but because of our faith in our lord jesus christ do you remember the prayer offered by one of you that you have to love that you have no love it is true that you cannot show the expression of love till tomorrow your prayer can avail nothing. Our Lord Jesus Christ and Jehovah God in, is, is not only wiser but more loving than any other person. There is no righteous man, no, not one. 
since Adam and Eve fell from the grace of God, what good thing has man done? Thereafter, we have been told not to do what is evil in the sight of God, but we continue to do such abominable acts. It is only our Lord Jesus Christ who really knows what I tell you. For that reason, we should give to him the greatest glory and we should perpetually glory and magnify his name forever. He is he has done what no angel has done before. He has done what no prophet has done before and what no spirit has ever done. Who says an angel is better than you? This is not true because an angel is not a child of God, but you are the child of God. Unto which angel has God ever said, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the first begotten of the Father, and we all, being children, are the first fruits of God. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ has neither the beginning nor the end. His glory has neither the beginning nor the end. His mercy for both mankind and angel has neither the beginning nor the end. But for him, there, should, there would have been no world in existence. No human being could have existed and nothing else would have existed.